Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is episode number four of the truck camper build. I've got my friend Mike here to help. How you doing? We are now going to get the floor inside and we're going to show you what we've been working on off camera just to kind of speed up the process. So let's get that floor set in there and bring you guys up to speed. Okay guys, so now that we've got the subfloor assembly placed into the truck, it's already pre-cut at six foot, four foot length. We have a couple pieces of studding material here that is basically gonna mark out our framing. So right here is gonna be a little frame section. It's also gonna be sheeted in with plywood. We'll talk about that later on. But the way we're constructing this is I'm using half inch plywood and I've got the nice side facing up because in the end, I think I'm gonna leave the wood grain there. I'm just gonna sand it really nicely and then add some clear coat to it so the grain really pops. But how we're constructing this is I'm taking the contractor glue with the caulking gun. We're gonna run a big fat bead on the bottom and then we're gonna pop it on there and all the screws that are gonna hold this studding in are gonna come from underneath of the plywood. So the heads are gonna go through the plywood into this one by material securing that and then this is going to be the screwing surface for the plywood which is then going to be sheathed on the outside so i'm going to have plywood here coming up and that's basically going to be the framing method for this entire build now the reason why i chose half inch plywood one cost right now is through the roof and two it's still going to be lightweight with everything back here that it's not going to be overloading my truck and sagging my suspension which is Kind of the reason why I went with a one by material instead of a two by four, because two by four for a truck camper, the way I'm going to be building it, it's going to be over engineered. It's going to be too much weight, too much wood. This stuff, once it's all framed up and all sheathed in, is going to be more than strong enough. Every single joint is going to be glued with the contractor glue. So we're using a PL premium out of a caulking gun. Very strong stuff. And then we're also going to be screwing it. So glued, screwed, everything's going to be assembled. Today in this video, we're going to be tackling the bed frame which is going to be exactly where i'm laying right now so i've got a mark on the floor how far it's going to go we're going to start constructing from two by six we're going to get that all assembled on the picnic table and then we're going to bring the frame in get it screwed to the floor and then do the sheathing on it so let's get started okay guys so what i've got going on right now is i've got a half inch sheet of plywood up near the headboard of the bed because essentially this right here is going to be the bed. So it does have to come up over the wheel well. This piece of plywood is gonna be a headboard and then that piece of plywood is then gonna continue down the side. So essentially I'm going to be laying on the bed with a headboard and a piece of plywood. All of this is gonna be invisible. The clamps, you won't be able to see that. There will be a shelf built up here as well as the headboard area. But right now we just need to get a measurement off of this plywood out six foot because my bed is going to be six foot long even that's to the outside of the sheathing so that is literally going to be every ounce of laying space is going to be six foot long and i believe the width we're going to have to take another measurement but i believe the laying width from where this wall is going to come down is 30 inches but that is going to possibly change throughout the day because we have to get everything framed up and go from there but right now we're just going to get a measurement off this board measure out the six foot and then we can cut our studs for the bed and get the bed frame made up outside of the truck possibly even just make it inside of the truck and then we'll have a good idea of where everything needs to sit and then we can get the plywood cut to sheath that in and get some studs drilled into the floor so then we can then screw in the, the sheathing to the bed into the little studs and that's how it's going to attach itself to the floor so let's get our measurement shoot me the tape bring it back to you okay so I've got two two by sixes that are going to be the vertical runners for the bed now I chose to go up in wood size for the bed because it is going to need to be structurally stronger than the rest of everything else I'm going to be laying on this sitting on it putting gear on top of it so instead of building it with the studs going this way I'm actually going to be building it going this way and I'll explain that in a little bit why but we need two pieces, 68 and a half. That is going to be the entire length of the bed. I'm only five foot seven inches tall, I'm not very tall. That works in my favor because the back of my truck is huge for me. So 68 and a half is gonna be the total laying length. And we're gonna cut these two there and then we're gonna use the off cuts of it are basically gonna be the vertical stays. 
and we're going to mark out where that needs to be for the wheel well. We're going to pop two of them in, screw them in with some decking screws, and then we're going to tie both of them together with another 2x6, and then we're going to make up the difference in the thickness for screwing on the plywood for the sheathing with this material in between. And then we'll bring you guys back and show you what we have for the framework of the bed. It's a little difficult to explain, so we're just going to get it all put together and then bring it back and show you what we came up with. So we've got half of the bed frame roughed out and we've got it laid out exactly where it's going to be laying. We even have the half inch line for the plywood thickness because this is going to be sheathed with plywood. Right now what we're going to do is obviously these aren't finished, connected or anything, but this one by material is going to get screwed to the floor and that's going to be our surface for our sheathing. So we're going to screw into that for the plywood. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out. And then we do need to figure out how to tie these two frames together. And we're most likely going to be using this to make up the difference. So we'll probably take a two by six on the back side of this, run it all the way through, and then screw this on the two by six to make up the thickness. So it'll be nice and flat. And then the same thing, that's got to go on the floor for a screw and surface. And then while we're at it, we're also going to screw some in the back because underneath of the bed, the whole bed is going to lift up on a hinge system and underneath is going to be compartments for storage. So we're going to do another piece back here to have a surface for the plywood to screw onto. I'm thinking we're probably going to line this up with this stud. That way when we drop in the sheet of plywood, it'll screw to there, giving us a nice little neat compartment for storage. I think that'll work really well. So doing this system, the only problem with doing it this way is basically we're going to mark it out and I'm going to take a drill bit and I'm going to drill through poking holes into the plywood. And I'm going to do that here, here, everywhere is where one of these needs to be attached. And then we're going to flip the entire floor over outside. We're going to glue, we're going to stick, and then I want to screw it down through. So I'm not actually going to be screwing this to the plywood, I'm going to be screwing the plywood to this. So the head of the screw is going to be underneath the truck bed pointing up, pulling this down towards the plywood, which is going to give it a lot of strength. So like I said, we're just going to mark all those little tiny pilot holes and then when we flip it over, we'll see individual holes. We'll make a straight line with a straight with a pencil and a straight edge and then we'll know exactly where that goes. We'll screw them in and then we'll be done. So it's a lot to think about. We're thinking as we're moving and it's working out so far. So we're going to get that piece screwed in or not screwed in. We're actually going to get cut out first now and then we're going to take some more measurements and finish up this bed frame. Okay guys, we now have some of the bed frame placed in. Mike's got a piece of plywood here. This is going to be the foot end of the bed. So you can see that on there. Just want to show you guys a look at a bit of the framework. Now, the framework of this is going together extremely wonky. There are some really weird pieces of wood. These two by sixes are warped like crazy. So we're trying to work around that, which is why there is all kinds of little add in pieces to make up the difference to actually give a screwing surface to the uh, to the plywood. Now it's mainly messed up on the ends. The side is actually perfect. So once we get this piece cut, we'll be able to slide that in there nice and perfect. So we're not worried about that. Uh, but this end is a little bit wonky. So we're just cutting some pieces now. There will be trim work put over this to clean up some of the torn edges from the saw. Uh, we're not ter terribly worried about that, but so far this is going good. I just wanted to show you guys the framework of what we got going on. Underneath of the bed is all going to be storage, so the top piece of plywood is going to have a hinge right about here, and the whole top is going to lift up, and then I'll have separated, organized space underneath of the bed for storage. So right now, we're just going to get some of these ribbing pieces taken care of. Basically, we're going to take some of the one by one that we've got, and some of the two by six, and we're gonna tack it in here to create the rib effect. And then after that's done, we're gonna get the sheet of plywood on top, extend it out to here, and then we'll work on our framework over here, how we're gonna get the plywood to come up, and basically put these pieces, screw them into the cap, and then the plywood's gonna rest on top of that, giving us a shelf, and then a vertical wall, and then the bed top. And then we're gonna stick the headboard in. So. It's a lot of work, but we're going to get at it and hopefully we can wrap some of this up quickly and then show you guys another update of where we're at and why we're doing things the way we're doing it.
Okay, we're getting ready to cut kind of a wonky piece right now. This piece is actually, so looking at me, this would be the back of the truck. There's the bed and then it goes down to the floor. So we have to cut kind of a zigzag piece of plywood that's then going to be the headboard and it's going to cover the floor. So I've got kind of a messed up piece. I'm going to rip it lengthwise because this is the height that it needs to be. And then we're going to take this piece back into the truck just to verify that my vertical cut is going to be snug up against the bed, which I think it will be, but we're just to, just to play it safe, we're going to rip it, take this piece inside of the truck, line it up and make sure everything lines up properly. So, oh, glasses. Perfect. Safety first. Safety first. All right, let's rip this. Here we go. Oh, she's a tight fit. All right. Okay, so if this makes any sense at all, <laughs> which it should eventually, um, so this piece is going in here, and this is going to create my headboard, and it's also going to cover the black material of the truck bed on the floor. So this area here, I know you probably can't see on camera the pencil lines, but basically this is a line. And this is a line removing this entire panel and then it should drop down. So I'm just verifying that my length on this cut is going to work. I'm not concerned about it riding up against the wall because again, we're going to have another sheet of plywood over there adding in. So it's going to be all squared in nicely. And this should ride right to the top edge of the cap, creating a little tiny shelf. So I'm happy with the way things look. Never really know until you finally cut it. So we're just going to cut this out and hopefully it just drops in there like butter. And then we can screw it in and secure it and be done with it and then move on to the sidewall. All right, so this is a close look at a diagram of the piece that we have to cut. I know the height's going to be 19 and 7 eighths. I know the width has to be 62. I know the floor gap is 28 and I know the rise is 10 and 3 quarters. These two angles or these two measurements are unknown, but actually they are known because 19 and 7 eighths reduced from 10 three quarters gives us the height and then the distance of 62 minus 28 gives us that run that is what we're going to cut out right now and hopefully it'll fit all right moment of truth guys look at that that fits pretty good so this plywood actually comes out further right flush with the edge just like that that's pretty good guys so that actually fits really good and then the piece of plywood that's going to be running on the straight edge basically covers a little bit of play that I left on the, on the vertical wall side. So that fits really well. Nice and flush with the top. I'm quite happy with that. Pretty awesome. So that actually worked out really well. We're going to screw in this piece of one by material behind it. We just needed the plywood to see where that 90 degree angle is going to be. So I don't know where my square is, but I'll be able to get my square jammed in there for 90 degree. And then I can tack in some screws after applying some glue and then we'll be all set. So let's get her done. Okay guys, it is starting to rain and we are in a hurry to try and wrap this up for the day. I'll give you guys a quick look at the bed. So we do have the entire bed unit framed up and sheeted. I still have to cut the holes in the top when I get the hinges and basically make the open door so the underneath the bed will be storage. But as you can see, the entire bed is framed in. We even have the sideboard put in and then we've got the headboard put in as well. Well, right now we're working on a little bit of a kind of bench area for shoes and for seating. I got to trim off this piece of plywood, but basically this is going to get set right in there like that. And then we're going to put plywood on the face of it. So it's going to be nice and prim and proper there. And then we're going to be building a table unit on this side. That's what that vertical plywood piece is kind of mocking up right now where the table is going to be. And inset in the table is where I'm going to be placing my battery unit, all my necessities that I need, my spoons, my pots, whatever, will be inside of there. And then the whole top is going to be a workable surface for cooking and whatnot. So this is where we're at right now. We're going to see if we can squeak out a little bit more today, get that cut off, get that faced up, and then maybe put some stuff away and try and work in the truck as long as we can. But ultimately, if it starts raining, we're done for the day. So we're going to continue working on this. 
Okay, so we've got dumped on with rain, so we had to frantically pack everything away, put all the wood away, get all the electronics and all the tools put away, but <laughs> it has now stopped raining, so here we are. We're all done for the day, but we just want to kind of recap what we've got done so far. So, the bed is completely finished. Over by Mike, that little shelf is completely glued and screwed, so that's basically done. Yeah. The headboard, you guys can see way up in there, that's all sheathed in. This side rail kind of bumper pad here, it's kind of a side wall, but that's all finished. The shelf on top is finished. And now over on Mike's side, that entire area over the wheel well is going to be kind of the, the kitchen area of the camper with a big table and a cutout for the battery units and everything. That still needs to be framed up and built. But this is where we're at today. And I also still have to put the boards up on the roof, which are going to hold a bunch of stuff for future episodes. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, that's basically it. So if you guys haven't seen episode one, two, or three, go back and check out those episodes. This is episode number four. Episode number five will be coming soon. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think of the, the progress so far. What do you guys think of the camper, the bed, everything, the, just the way everything's going because we're kind of, we're digging it. We're liking it. I mean, it's coming out really good. And I'm toying with the idea of leaving it natural wood, but I am going to re-sand everything and do a clear coat so the wood grain really pops. And possibly putting some trim over these screw holes or maybe countersinking them and then putting some wood putty. Uh, but either way, let us know what you guys think in the comment section of where we're at now. And uh, check out the next episode when it's available. So, peace out guys. Thanks for watching.